I have gout. My doctor said I should not eat soy and mushroom. Is that true? Myth of food and nutrition. So when it comes to gout, there's a lot of myth about gout as well. This is also one of those diseases that has a lot of recommendations floating around. Some recommendations are better than others. Now, when it comes to gout, for people who don't know, people who have gout, they need to eat foods that are low in purines. So they want to have a lower purines intake. So a lot of people, they will look for how much purine does this food contains. They will find that there are some plants that have higher in purines. For example, soybeans, peanuts, asparagus, cauliflower, or even mushrooms. So multiple studies have shown that intake of purine from animal sources, for example, meat and seafood, or especially meat like organ meat, it can increase the risk of gut. However, purines from plant sources, they do not increase the risk of gout. Plus, all of these plant foods, even if you look at the tables, they will split it into categories like high purine, moderate, low. All of these plant foods, they tend to be in moderate or low sections. So, they tend to be low in purines anyway. However, studies have shown that plant purines, they don't actually increase risk of gout. Some studies have even shown that the soil can actually lower the risk of hyperorhythmia or excessive uric acid in the blood, which is what gout sufferers want to avoid. Now, the researchers from Singapore, they look at nearly 50,000 Chinese people because their diets are just naturally high in soy products like tofu or soy milk and etc. They look at these people and they found that soy doesn't actually increase risk of gout. In fact, they found the opposite. They found that people who add more soil have a low risk of gout than those who add the least. This is because plant foods in general, they are very, very healthy. So, when it comes to choosing our foods, you don't want to be hyper-focused on one thing. Yes, I know that some plant foods can have higher level of purine, but what we really want to avoid, what gut sufferers really want to avoid are things like meat, certain type of seafood, and certain type of organs meat. Those are the things that they really want to avoid. But you don't want to avoid this healthy food like soybeans or mushroom, or even asparagus or cauliflowers for sake of avoiding purines because this plant food in general, they will do more good for you than they will do harm. Because these plant foods, they are healthier for you and they support your health in so many different ways. Plus, the purine from plant foods, it doesn't act in the same way and it doesn't increase your risk of gout or even having a gout attacks. So, if you have gout, you don't have to worry about purines from plant sources. If it's a vegetable, go ahead and eat it. Please eat more vegetable. I have a hard enough time to convince people to eat more vegetables. So don't worry about this either. If you eat more vegetables, that's good. Is soy good for gout and rheumatoid arthritis patients? Myth of food and nutrition. When it comes to people with gout, a lot of people with gout, what they really want is to avoid foods that are high in purine. Because purine is converted into the body, into uric acids, which can crystallize into crystal, which form their gout. When it comes to folks with gout, many of them want to stir clear of foods that are high in purine. You see, purines get converted into uric acids in the body. And that's when problems begin. Uric acid crystals start forming, and voila, that's how guts happen. So, that is the reason why people with gut want to avoid foods with high purine contents. But when it comes to foods with high purine contents, the food they really want to avoid are the animal sources of food. For example, internal organs like livers and heart are high purine foods. There's a lot of meat that can be high in purine. There's a lot in seafood as well, unfortunately. Delicious seafood like lobsters that can be in high in purine. So it's more in animal sources of food 
that people want to avoid. But when it comes to vegetable, or vegetable that you can eat, all the vegetables you want. In fact, I would encourage everyone to eat more vegetables. Well, you know, guts have been around for quite a while. Back in the days, it was considered a disease of a normal man. Why? Because at that time period, only the rich people, those with very rich, only the nobles could afford to have so much meat. They could afford to have that much of seafood that they would give them the gout. On the other hand, the poor people, all they can eat were the plant foods, the vegetables, whatever they grow on their farms, and they won't get gout. So, vegetables are not going to give you gout. There are some vegetables that have a lot of purine in there, but a lot of research show that the purine from vegetables do not cause gout. There's research done in Singapore showing that purines from plant source like soy does not increase your risk of gout. It does not increase the risk of gout attacks either. So, if you have gout, it's more the purines from the animal sources of food that you have to avoid. You can eat soybean, you can eat whatever vegetables you want. I would really encourage you to eat more vegetables. I would encourage everyone to eat more vegetables. So, the proteins from the vegetables are not going to increase your risk of gout or cause any attacks. Now, when it comes to rheumatoid arthritis as well, rheumatoid arthritis is a disease in which you get inflammation in your joint. A lot of researchers believe it's because the immune system will attack your joint. So, it's a bit like an autoimmune disease where your immune system is attacking the tissues in the joint causing a lot of inflammation there. And when you have an autoimmune disease, when you have this sort of inflammatory disease, it's all the important that you eat a lot of vegetables. When you eat a lot of plant foods, there is so much research out there showing that plant foods have anti-inflammatory effects on your body. This means they can help decrease the appropriate levels of inflammation in your body. Plus, if you look at others' autoimmune disease like lupus or even other inflammatory diseases like Crohn's disease, there's research out there showing that people who ate a lot of plant foods that had more fiber in their diet is actually helped with their autoimmune disease. It's actually helped reduce their symptoms from Crohn's disease. In fact, there was a case study with Crohn's disease patients in which they switched entirely to plant-based diet a really high fiber best diet and their symptoms all went away. You know, they went into remission. So it is super promising cases. So when it comes to this sort of inflammatory disease, this sort of autoimmune disease, yes, it's super important that people eat more plant foods. And along with the plant food, they try to give more fiber as well because fiber has been shown to help with these other autoimmune diseases. So it can help with the rheumatoid arthritis as well. It is something that people can definitely think of trying. Now, you know that soy protein, the plant protein, the purine from the vegetables are not going to give you gout and rheumatoid arthritis. Sharing these videos to your friends and families who are interested to it. Liking and subscribing for more health and nutritious myths. Hit the bell button will help for notify new videos upload every week. I am King Law. Until next time, take care and stay informed.